I didn't really have any stupid ideas for today's episode, but today we will be getting Cronenberg Morty's stats up dramatically, only his attack, that's what I'm going to be working on. So I really hope to get it to like 100,000 one day. I know that's a goal that's just absurd, but I think I could do it if I keep working towards it and I don't give up. Do you guys want to see that? I wonder what the maxed out attack is. But we're eventually going to get there, I hope at least. Maybe there's no max, but his attack is 215 right now. And let me see how many Schmeckles we have. We're going to add them all to this Cronenberg Morty with only attack seeds. So we can add 146 attack seeds to this Cronenberg Morty. I'm going to go do that. This might take quite a bit of time, but it doesn't really matter, guys. I will be back in a second. I actually love doing this. It takes so long, but I finally completed it. I'm going to show you my one true Morty stats. He has a lot more HP than my Cronenberg Morty, but he has an attack of 1577, and then my Cronenberg Morty has an attack of 1675. So that means he's more powerful than the one true Morty, and I'm pretty sure his attacks are more powerful. So he has a power of 130, and let's see what the one true Morty has. He has an attack of 130 as well. So he also has an attack of 120, and Cronenberg has an attack of 105. So I guess the one true Morty is a bit better, but right now we have Cronenberg's stats a little bit higher. So I'm excited to use this guy. Leave your comments down below telling me if you think they should add seeds into, um, into multiplayer. Someone left a comment saying it would like break the game if they did that. The game would be so broken. People would have the most HP Mortys. But I think it could be fun. I don't know. Just let the game go fucking insane. Because I want really powerful Mortys. Whatever Morty it may be. And then everyone's going to use this strategy on their favorite Mortys. And whoever has the most seeds on one Morty will be the winner eventually. I mean, whoever can get up to like a 100,000 or a million attack, they are going to be the winner in each battle. And that would only happen for maxed out players. So it would just be for fun, really. Because the lower level players, it wouldn't be as easy for them to get these attack level up and defense and speed seeds. But I think it could be fun. This is going to be one hit against every Morty we go against. It could be good for leveling up my regular Morty. I'm going to actually try that out. Let's start leveling up our regular Morty a bit and see how much HP he gains. So let me get my Cronenberg Morty on the second slot. We're going to go over here and face a trainer. Oh, okay, here we go. Here's Gunk Morty. I just did a review on this guy. I've been seeing him around so often recently. I think they do that once the update comes out. And then maybe in the future, maybe in a couple weeks, when new Mortys comes out, they won't um, showcase him so much with trainers. But let's switch out to Cronenberg Morty. And we're going to defeat a level 100 Dog Morty. So let's see how much XP we gain for our original Morty. I still want to get him to level 100. And I know it's going to be difficult, but I think we'll be able to do it. Guys, I need to tell you something. I got rid of my head as a Morty on stream. That means I can't get every single Morty in this game. I can't have them all in campaign. I mean, I got them, but I don't currently have them. So we only gained one level, which really isn't that much. Here, let's switch over to Morty, and then we're going to switch back to Cronenberg Morty and just try to level this guy up maybe until uh, to 25 by the end of this episode. If we did that, I would be pretty happy with that. But this regular Morty, I think he's going to gain a lot of HP since we are leveling him up from level 15 to level 100. If you did not know, that's a really great way to gain HP for your Mortys if you actually take the time to level them up and you don't use level up mag seeds. But if you guys want to be as good as me and just one shot every single Morty, all you really have to do is get 100 badges and then you'll be able to find every Morty in the wild and they'll all be level 100. So if you want to do that, feel free and just gather a bunch of schmeckles and eventually just give it to one of your Mortys. Make them so OP. Personally, I enjoy it. I don't know if you guys like this. I think um, you might like this video idea, but let's switch over to our Cronenberg Morty. And I really don't know what else to talk about. I have wanted to get a little bit more personal in my videos, but like it's kind of difficult for me to actually think of what I want to talk about. There's so many things on my mind, but then when I press record, they seem to all melt away. 
but do you guys struggle with depression or anxiety and how do you get over it um, how do you deal with it maybe you don't necessarily get over it but how do you deal with it I've I have this problem in my life where like I'll know that I have a problem with something and I might even know how to fix that problem but something in me doesn't want to change and I end up not fixing the problem or if I do fix the problem then I end up going um, back to my old ways I feel like maybe once I get a little bit more mature maybe once I hit the age of like 25 30 I don't know when exactly um, maybe I'll start to actually learn lessons and keep those learned lessons and apply them into my life but I don't know it's very difficult for me not to just not give a fuck to not just not give a fuck wait it's very difficult for me to just give a fuck and keep caring because of my depression and anxiety I just wanted to talk about that Do you guys struggle with that I think that's so interesting I love talking about depression um, I don't think many people talk about it so maybe that's why I like talking about it I also like talking about like suicide or um, anything you can't really talk about whatever um, anything in like politics I like talking about anything that you probably shouldn't talk about just come to me we can talk about it anything if you want to DM me with your stories or whatever or leave them in the comment section please do we got this Morty to level 19 but I'm not really good at always coming up with things to talk about alright let's learn this move let's learn it alright let's learn it now we have four moves for our regular Morty that's what I wanted to get see look at that doesn't that look beautiful I think in total he has about a 50 attacks which is fucking crazy so if we get that guy very powerful um like eventually it, let's say we get him up to 2000 attack we won't have to like heal him up we won't have to use very many platonic rocks on him so it's going to be very efficient for gathering schmackles which i'm trying to do so i can eventually get this cronenberg morty um up to maybe 100,000 attack I know that sounds absurd, but we're already at 2,000 attack, and I wasn't even trying to gather schmeckles. But right now, I will be trying to gather more and more schmeckles. So I'm going to show you something right here. Once you have level 100 Mortys you're going against, if you kill that level 100 Morty, you get 1,500 schmeckles each time, every single time. So for killing one Morty with one hit, you get 1,500 schmeckles. That's so easy, guys. I think, I don't know exactly what else we're going to do in this episode, but I'll be back once I think of something else to talk about or something else to do. I did think about something I wanted to talk about, so it's the success on my channel and how it's affecting my channel. So let's say I wasn't having as much success and I wasn't getting as many views and subscribers from Pocket Mortys, I probably wouldn't play it as much. But since it's the most popular thing on my channel, and I know it's going to get me the most views no matter what I do because I really can't think of any other ideas that would get me as much success right now but um, I kind of feel like I'm putting myself in this position where if I switch over to another game I'm basically fucked no one's gonna watch it I've made videos on other games they'll get like 500 maybe to a thousand views if, I, if I'm lucky and that's like over a week's time they'll probably get like 500 in the first day up to a thousand um, within the week so and then my pocket mortys they get like maybe five to ten thousand maybe like three to ten thousand per video some videos do way better but what do you guys think i d should do and how do you think i should gain a bigger audience on other games and do it quickly because that's really what i'm focused on right now this is my main income believe it or not I only have 28,000 subscribers but still this is my main income and I mean I need to make money guys that's just the truth of it I need to make money off of YouTube I never want to go work a regular job again so if that means I have to sit here and play pocket Morty's all day I'm gonna sit here and play pocket Morty's all day um, that's just what I have to do I want to move out eventually which I'm planning on doing very soon and I need to save up all my money and I need to make a lot of money and this is the best way I can do it so if you guys have any ideas on how I could possibly improve my channel or any other games you think 
could be popular for a Pock and Morty's fan base. I was thinking about possibly Pokemon, but I've been having a lot of trouble actually getting that started because with my phone, it always crashes. It's like um, GBA for iOS. That's the app you use to actually play Pokemon. And the game constantly crashes, and I was having a lot of trouble with that. And I would have to like turn off my phone each time I even exited the app. Let's say I exited it and um, exited Let's say I closed that, that's a better word, and went back in. I would just like, it, w it wouldn't allow me to see the screen, but I could see it on my OBS. So I was having a lot of trouble with that. If you guys know where I can play Pokemon, um, could I play it on the PC? I don't know exactly. I wish they added it to iOS, but they haven't yet. Do you have any other game ideas? Because I am definitely open to suggestions. But that's really going to be it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. This Cronenberg Morty is insane. I will get his other stats up once I get his attack up to where I want it, which is about maybe 100,000. I really know that's a big goal, but I think we can get there. If we work on it like every, every time we go on campaign, I think eventually we can get there as long as we really don't work on anything else, maybe except for capturing the new Mortys. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.